Today I'm going to do a little bit of exploring, a little bit something different. Most of you know I don't usually talk on these uh, videos. I prefer to let the pictures show themselves, but when you try to do a little old history, uh, you have to add some examples. I'm at Roosevelt Road. I'm right at the gate to uh, Yorkshire Woods, or York Woods Forest Preserve, also known as DuPage County Forest Preserve Number 1. This was the original forest preserve in the system. I'm directly across Roosevelt Road from the new Elmhurst Hospital and way off in the distance down there is York Road. Now the reason I'm here is I recently obtained the 1927 topographical map for the area and right here at the edge of the map uh, shows Roosevelt Road in 1927 and it also shows an enormous swamp in this area. Some of you may be familiar with York Road being a replacement road and this line here of York Road this is what's known as Old York Road. Uh, back about 1960 a new road was across put Roosevelt Road you might be able to make out the sign for Elmhurst Hospital and off to the left of it is the tiny little road sign uh, for one of the side streets. Kirk used to come through oh just about where the edge of the hospital is and way up on the other side closer to Butterfield it still exists. Now looking at this old map uh, I showed you the road, Roosevelt Road, when it went through the forest preserve started at about this line here. So I'm going to head off in this direction. There's been 80 years of development within the forest preserve itself and growth of trees and I'm not quite sure how everything would line up. Obviously Roosevelt Road is now a six lane uh, limited access expressway. There's a frontage road now and then there's these trails and paths through the forest preserve I have a suspicion some of them may have been reused over time and some trails may cover this original road but this way there seems to be a little bit of a scar running at about the right angle. The angle I'm thinking is that this road would have gone off in a direction that would have been uh, east southeast. I'm following a little deer path here through the woods. I'm heading uh, south I'm looking for anything that would suggest the road disturbed dirt. I'm not really 100% hopeful that I'm going to really find anything, but I have my suspicions that wherever the road was, there'd be kind of a clear channel through the woods, and I have just kind of found such a channel, so I'm going to kind of follow this direction. You know, thousands of years ago, the Romans built roads all through Europe, and uh, the, Europe's been developed, it's been farmed, things have been changed. But yet, when you look at a sa uh, satellite picture, you can still see the ruins of those old roads. Now here in DuPage, I'm willing to bet that to some extent this road still exists. All right, I just came through an area of brambles and stickers, and I think it was poison sumac, but I will endeavor on. Um, looking this way, you can almost see it's like a clear cut through the woods, and I have a feeling I'm on the right track. It's fairly flat. Um, I think that this road, Roosevelt Road, 1927, was a gravel road and the forest preserve district probably just scraped the gravel off when the uh, present Roosevelt was configured and they probably used it for the trail system. I'm fairly confident that I'm on the right track here though. There's almost this lane through the woods running at the right angle. I'm not seeing any signs of gravel in the dirt but the trees seem to line up uh, with what could have been a two-lane country road that existed back in the old days. 
that's the direction I just traveled through. That's where I've come from. And you can see there's almost this natural lane. I'm not sure if the lane is to the right of this tree or to the left. I'm going to head off in this direction briefly. The ground here, nothing too much is growing here. I don't know if this is because it's a swampy area and we've had the really dry year, or if this was road and uh, even though they scraped it, nothing wants to grow here. So let's swing around this way. It's a beautiful day today. It's about 70 degrees right now. And I can see where the forest preserve has come through and they have done a program of tree trimming and cutting out some of the invasive species of plants. I just found a uh, possibly easily identifiable area of terrain. Um, I'm standing on the top of a very slight ridge, a very slight hill. Through the trees that way, looking south, I can see uh, a part of the forest preserve that's improved and Harger Road is just beyond that to the south. And I'm going to refer to the map here. And on this map you can see the trace of the old road I was following. And I believe I'm up at this point here where the contours show a depression down, possibly a depression up. It's hard to read. But I believe I'm in this general vicinity right in here. So at this point the road would have started bending to the east and then the east-northeast. Within the forest preserve is a, another area of swamp. You can see the dried up grasses and I'm at that edge of that, oh, a little bit further down that ridge, that high spot I described a few moments ago. Kind of looking to the south and I can see it's almost like a pool, a basin where these cattails have formed. And I have brought another tool along with me today, if I can show this to you. This is the 1938 aerial photos of Elmhurst and this would be looking north. This is Roosevelt. This is Old York Road. Here's that little road I was trying to find and this area is that field we were just looking at. I'm almost certain of that, so that means I've actually gone a little bit too far south, so i got to cut back and see if I can find this angle, this uh, spot right here, which looks like it could have been one of the original parking lots for the forest preserve. I just wanted to show this because I wanted you folks to see how dense this area is with the foliage following a little bit of a deer path and now I got to get to that side through here. Now I'm not going to do that on camera. Well, I just broke through the foliage right about over there and I found myself in a nice little flat meadow area, a couple spots where grass doesn't grow. And I think I'm on the right track here. I'm going to start heading this way. There's another one of those spots where the grass just doesn't grow. And I've had some experience in tracking down roads, paths, trails. And this is in general the right area. I know that at the very least. But specifically, I'm not so sure. Now, there has been some new growth and I cannot state positively I'm in the right area for this but in general yeah, I am. I'm maybe 30, 40, 50 feet off the circle path uh, the forest preserve put in. It's an asphalted path and once I get to that everything has been so changed over in modern times that I really don't expect to find anything but I'm still traipsing through the woods here. 
hoping to find something, anything, other than stickers and briars. This is another spot where in general the uh, soil seems to have a different condition. Right here it's kind of a clay mixed with dirt. Nothing seems to be growing. That could just be because of the length of the trees and the not, no light gets down to the ground here. But I am in that general area where the road should have been. And I should be, I'm heading almost due east at this moment. And that would fit with what I'm thinking about this road. I'm at a point where back in 1938 there was an extra wide portion of Roosevelt Road that served as the Forest Preserve parking lot. It was like a two lane highway with uh, extra wide shoulders to accommodate parking. And I just looked at the aerial map and I think I'm in that general area and the vegetation has changed a little bit, not much. Uh, but the trees here are throwing me off. So the road at this point, it had reached its maximum depth to the south. Then it begins its angle back to the east-southeast. Right, I'm coming out of the dense part of the woods and the uh, path is right ahead of me. And if I did this right, I'm following the general path of the road and combination parking lot in this vicinity. Now here in the developed area, this is a much better candidate for the, uh, the original road. Um, the original road would have gone straight where the camera is pointed and then as it gets to the top of this little hill this would be the point of maximum distance to the south and as you come up this little hill you notice there is a little bit of a clearing here it is flat a lot of that's due to modern maintenance but you'll notice we're on the top of a little hill here referring back to the map at this point here uh, top is or up is uh, north where my finger is, it'd be the spot I'm on right now. And I kind of think this just might be it because of this little hill that the road goes through. And we're not too far from where the replacement York Road and the York Road Viaduct went through about 1960. So I'm going to snoop around this general area for a couple more minutes. Alright, I came out uh, in the uh, picnic area off of Harger Road, so I know I'm way too far south. I'm just consulting my maps. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, this is the wide area, is that uh, parking lot for the Forest Preserve. This is Harger Road all the way down here. And after the road reconstruction, realignments and everything, I think I'm in this general open area right here. So I'm going to follow the path back and head towards Roosevelt Road and see if I can uh, pick up anything from the path. Looking out this way towards York Road through the trees and up the hill, uh, 1960 that whole area got radically reconfigured when they built the uh, improved York Road and then old York Road got kind of cut out plus the uh, constant remodeling of the uh, forest preserve here. All right, this is kind of a strange little artifact to find, but who knows what the significance is. It says uh, hollow spun post, some sort of old street light. So there's this thing laying in the ground over here. Then back this direction, there's a big old rock or two, like a boulder left in the ground. Another candidate for the road is 50 feet straight off that way 
is a uh, piece of busted up concrete laying in the grass. But looking through here, in this area where nothing's growing, I'm wondering if the road came through, oh, just about where that camera is angling, and I know you got the glare there. It would have come through. This berm here is artificial. This was put up around 1960. It carries the frontage road, the Roosevelt frontage road, and it takes it over to Harger Road. And I don't want to get hit by any cars here. But this is all artificial. You can see the hospital down there. That whole low spot where the cars are, that's the Great Swamp. And those cars are heading towards Harger Road and the tollway. I'm heading back to the uh, south parking area now. I've flipped it through the woods for the last hour. It's getting late. I don't want to be caught in here at night. Uh, something happened a little while ago. It's kind of neat. I saw a big deer, a buck, and if I knew how to count the points on the buck, I'd tell you. Uh, there were three lumps on each antler, so I think that makes it a six-point buck. We're back on the trail. You know, if you go through forest preserves in Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, you'll notice that they've taken over like old farm country. And what they tend to do is they try to recycle the original farm roads, county roads as much as possible. They pull some pieces out, uh, they eliminate some corners, they make them turn them into curves. And so this piece here has a chance at being part of the original road, but I don't think so. Going by the recycling the road theory, this is probably the best uh, guess for the parking area, the Roosevelt Road parking area, when Roosevelt jogged through the woods here. And this would be the point further south. I discussed that in an earlier clip. And now I'm going to take this little paved trail back over to the parking area in the car. As much as I'm interested in history, I'm kind of loaded up with briars and brimbles right now and bugs and, you know, who knows what sort of wild animals the chupacabras are in the woods. And I'm going to try to enjoy some of the early autumn colors the best I can. Well, I got a 30 feet down the road from the last clip and I spot this off to the side. It looks like a fence post or maybe a benchmark of some sort. Uh, right through the weeds here is where I saw that broken up piece of concrete. So possibly I'm in the general area of where that road was. And when you consider that there's an existing trail right here, I might have been too far south all along. And this could have been the line of the road and that would fit. Something interesting I just discovered is uh, right above my thumb here the contour map shows a little bit of a hill between the road and the swamp and through the trees there is the hospital and Roosevelt Road where the Great Swamp was and you can see I'm on a little bit of a rise here which would make for a good case that this trail here and its direction that it's pointing was part of the original road. All right, we were looking east, now we're going, oh, west-southwest. And from here, you get to the bottom of the hilly area, to the peak of the swamp, and then the road would start curving back to the north, or rather west-northwest. So let's see what's around this curve. You can see that little bit of a ridge way off in the distance where the path kind of crosses over the top. 
and you'll see that the road does curve to the west-northwest but only for a very short while and then it cuts back uh, pretty much due west even to the south what's frustrating about this little expert exploration is how significantly the land has changed around here uh, In 1927, the swamp here was big enough, deep enough, rugged enough that they couldn't even put the road straight through it. However, by 1938, they did finally fill in enough to put a road directly across it. So by 1938, Roosevelt's now a perfectly straight line east to west. And then in 1960, uh, York Road got straightened, adjusted, and a viaduct built over Roosevelt Road. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier clip, I have to wonder uh, the line, the original line of Roosevelt Road, how wide were the lanes? You know, was each lane like eight foot, which would mean the total road to be 16 foot wide? You know, the modern expressway right away is probably 100 feet wide. Then you have the frontage road, and that's probably another. 50 feet of right away so a huge swath of land was taken up uh, just to build the roads which means when I refer to the 1927 topographical map uh, points of references are kind of obliterated to the east of here at York Road since York Road was adjusted those points of references have been obliterated. When I get back to uh, my headquarters, so to speak, I'll pull up the 1950 series of aerial photographs and see if I can find any evidence from those those aerial photos of where these all streets all interconnected. Uh, you might be able to see that we're kind of at a low point here so I think we're at the southern limit of the great swamp of South Elmhurst. Now to give you a little bit of background about this area uh, Old York, Roosevelt uh, was where one of the original pioneers to the area settled. A uh, man's name was Philander Terod and he settled pretty much where the uh, viaduct is. Built the house out of native cut limestone which came from a quarry on the banks of Salt Creek right off of Harger Road. Uh, when he died uh, his family had established a cemetery on the west bank of Salt Creek at 22nd Street of course, 22nd Street wasn't there at the time. And that cemetery lasted up until the early 60s when it was removed to make way for the development of Enterprise Drive. Now, the Tarot home was one of the oldest homes in the county, but when Roosevelt Road got turned into a limited access expressway around 1960 and then York Road was straightened out and the viaduct built in 1960. Uh, the Tarot home was pulled down. When the east-west tollway came through about the same time, the quarry got filled in and then just a few years later, just a few years later the uh, the cemetery got pulled up, so the Tarot family no longer is remembered, exists, respected in this area. Now right across the street where that big double gate is, that's what's left of Old York Road going down towards the Tarot home. I'm now running north on York Road, the viaduct that I'm uh, crossing right now. This is the east-west tollway and that cut across the back side of the Tarot property where the house was. And right again, right here, is Old York Road, the entrance to. This bit of trees right here is actually Forest Preserve property. When York Road got straightened, that got cut off. I'm at York and Lexington, and I've just doubled back hairpin turn, and I'm going south 
on Old York Road. There's York Road over there. Uh, so in pioneer days, this is the old trail that would have led down to Fullersburg, which was kind of, oh, the universal center of this part of York Township, this part of the county. At one time, Fullersburg was going to be the grand city of uh, East DuPage, but that never happened. Um, coming up over this last little bit of a hill will begin, will be again at Roosevelt Road. And you'll be able to see this lowland. Now, one of the quirks of Roosevelt Road is when it crossed back over York Road, and then it made kind of a jump back to the north. And this trailer park, or well, it used to be a trailer park, trailer park's gone now. Um, I think they incorporated part of the old Roosevelt Road. Can't see much from here. We'll try looking at it from the other All right, side. We're at the other end of the old trailer court. And right in this general area here, uh, Roosevelt made a severe jog to the north of its existing path. And I think this area right here is where Roosevelt used to come through. You can see how low that area is down there if you can glimpse the cars. And that's part of the continued swamp. The swamp ran, ran from about Kirk east to the county line. On one of the ancient maps, uh, one of the first plat maps of the area, uh, there's an ancient slough that's drawn in right around this area. There's an old creek down there. What's interesting is there's a house coming up here in the corner and this is just like one of these little abandoned segments of the creek. The creek and the swamp right in here. You see all these cattails. Well, I'm back at video headquarters. Uh, I'm looking at an image of, uh, oh, this is 1955. Here's Roosevelt Road. The map up would be west. Uh, the new hospital would be right in this area. York Road, Roosevelt Road, and then here's the uh, mystery area here. So I went through the woods from about here to here, and then the new corrected York Road was, oh, kind of like that. So this map wasn't too helpful, again, because I'm really lacking reference points because this road got severely expanded. This road got severely expanded. Um, I got Kirk Street and this other street in Yorkfield that I tried to use in ref as reference, but it really didn't help. Uh, this is Harger Road here, just so you know, and this is Salt Creek up in here. Uh, that didn't really work out as a good reference either. So just to wrap this project up, that's one of my crew. Uh, I wanted to show you something here. Uh, here's a negative image of the uh, 1842 map. And on the 1842 map, just so you know, this line across here would be the line of Roosevelt Road. This is a map line here known as the Indian Boundary Line. That has to do with the uh, Illinois and Michigan Canal. That was just a survey reference. But this area here along Roosevelt was marked as a big swampy area. Down over here, the other side of the county line was a big swampy area. Uh, so when they first did the surveys back in the 1840s or earlier, yes, that did show up then. Now this map here, this is the... Oh, this is the reprint of the 1874 Atlas and History of DuPage County. And York and Butterfield here. York and Roosevelt here. I don't know if we can really get a good look at it. 
Um, but this is just a reference line. You could see at this point the road stopped way over here and there was just a reference line with no streets. And this was the road area here. And then, last couple things. This is a better quality picture of the, uh, oh, better quality reproduction of that 1938 aerial photo. York and Roosevelt here. And then this is where the mystery road begins and then curves back here. And again, when York Road was straightened out, it was straightened from pretty much York and Lexington uh, southward. And so you can see York got moved over quite a significant number of feet. Uh, it's been fun working with a lot of these maps. Uh, this is the one I've been uh, using today. And down in this corner here you can see all the little swamp indicators to cattails. So, didn't really determine too much today. I probably determined more about where things were not. But it was a fun little adventure, and I'll probably be doing a few more like this in the future.